So we're going to talk now a little bit about accommodation. Um, so my, my, the way I did my trip is, the way I'm doing my trip, is I'm actually, um, I'm actually just deciding the day before where I'm going to go. Uh, cause, because I'm working as well, so I might spend, I might get to a location, do a bit of sightseeing and then spend six or seven hours, four or five hours, whatever at night. Um, I'll spend some time um, working. So from one day to the other, I don't really know 100% uh, where I'm going to be. So my biggest, my where, where I search for uh, properties to stay are like for hostels, Hostel World, probably one of the better ones. Um, and then for, uh, if I'm going to stay more than one or two nights, I don't stay in hotels, I'll stay in uh, Airbnb. Because you get your own apartment, you know, you can go shopping, get your own gear, you got the run of the place. Um, hotels, even, you know, even in Central South America, they, you know, they want to rip you off just like the American ones do. They're, probably, they're all owned by Americans anyway. Um, but if I'm only staying one night, it's pretty hard to get an Airbnb just for one night. Um, it's hardly worth it for them. Plus you have to pay the cleaning fee. So it makes it just as expensive as a hotel. So uh, so what I do is, uh, if I'm staying, in, in, staying somewhere for more than three days, I, um, or m more than two nights, sorry, um, I'll, uh, I'll use Airbnb. Um, if I'm staying uh, one night, either a hotel or a um, or a hostel. I've stayed in a few hostels. They've all been really, really good. I, I mean, I get the private rooms. I'm not going to sit in them with a dorm. Me snoring my ass off, annoying everybody else. Plus, you've got to leave all your gear with everybody. Um, not a fan of that. Um, so, yeah, so... Um, the prices you pay, it depends on what you want to stay in, you know, just like anywhere. But, you know, hostels, you can pay as little as $5 a, $5 a, a, a night, you know. Um, if you want to sit, stay in a dorm. Um, the biggest requirements for me is a uh, balcony. I like to have a cigar and sit on the balcony, have a beer while I'm working. Um, uh, Wi-Fi. I always look at the comments to see what people, have, if anyone's made a comment about the Wi-Fi. On this trip I've left two hotels because they said they had high-speed internet and they didn't. <laughs> it was, you could hardly load a page. And I've left one Airbnb and the guy, I actually got, Airbnb gave me $200 credit because the guy had lied about a lot of other things about his listing too. Um, TV didn't work, air conditioning didn't work. Um, so yeah, um, so as soon as I get to a hotel, I, I get the Wi-Fi tester out. Well, as soon as I get to my room or an Airbnb, and I test it, and if it's not up to scratch, you know, I'll tell the owner to, to fix it. Um, because, you know, I've got videos, I've got all this stuff that I'd like to do work with, and if it's really slow, you just can't do anything. It's useless. I mean, at least I have to be able to work. slow going here, I don't know what's going on. Where am I going? I'm going, where's this guy going? Left. All these bikes coming up on the left side now too. Um, yeah, so, do your research. Airbnb allows you to save property, same with Expedia and Booking.com and all that sort of stuff. Um, you can change to US dollars if it's if it's displaying, uh, you know, change to US dollars if it's displaying. Um, you know, obviously if you've got a bike, look for parking, uh, free parking, fr free internet, and if you can get a free breakfast out of them, get a free breakfast out of them. Um, but yeah, so it's, you've got three choices. Hotel, hostel, Airbnb if it's more than one more than one night. So enjoy.